In this video we study a famous problem in distributed systems called Byzantine agreement. A related problem is called consensus, where the goal is to reach agreement among the nodes that make up the distributed system. Let's start by defining the consensus problem. We say that an algorithm solves the consensus problem if it has the following three properties. The first property is called agreement, which says that all nodes must decide on the same value at the end of the execution of the algorithm. The second property is called validity. The algorithm has the validity property if the nodes decide on a value that is the input value of a node, that is, one node must have had this value at the beginning of the execution. Lastly, the third property is called termination, which says that all nodes must eventually decide on a value. The consensus problem is non-trivial in a model where nodes may fail. For example, in the crash failure model, a node may crash at any time during the execution of the consensus algorithm. Once a node has crashed, it will never perform any actions anymore, that is, it will remain in the crashed state, and the remaining nodes need to reach agreement among themselves. Crash failures can cause inconsistencies in the local views of the nodes. In the example here, the node in the lower left crashed before sending the third message to the node in the lower right. So, consensus must be reached with a partial view of the system state. However, there are worse kinds of failures than crash failures. A node may fail in such a way that it starts acting erratically, for example by sending messages that are not consistent with the consensus algorithm. In fact, the node may show arbitrary behavior, maybe even act maliciously, sending the worst possible messages to prevent other nodes from reaching consensus. Such failures are called Byzantine failures. As mentioned before, a Byzantine node may deviate from the protocol in arbitrary ways, for example sending only one message and dropping the others. Alternatively, a Byzantine node may send different, possibly contradictory messages to other nodes. Now that we understand what Byzantine failures are, we can define Byzantine agreement, which is the consensus problem introduced in the beginning but with Byzantine failures. It is not hard to believe that the Byzantine agreement problem is harder than the consensus problem with crash failures. Let's revisit the properties of consensus. The agreement and termination properties are still appropriate in the Byzantine failure mode, but what about validity? Validity says that the nodes must agree on an input value. However, what if a Byzantine node ignores its input value and sends an arbitrary value to other nodes instead? If this value is accepted by all nodes, the nodes do not agree on an input value as desired. In general, there is no solution to this problem. So, we have to find a different validity property for Byzantine agreement. We just saw that we cannot insist on agreeing on the input value of any node, can we instead make it a requirement to agree on the input value of a correct node? You are encouraged to pause the video here to think about it. We'll continue here in a few seconds. Did you come to a conclusion? Unfortunately, this validity condition also doesn't work, because any faulty node that correctly executes the consensus algorithm but with a wrong value is indistinguishable from a correct node. In other words, there is no way for the nodes to tell whether a certain value is acceptable. What if we loosen up the restriction even more? What if we only require that if all correct nodes already start with the same value, then they must also agree on that value? For example, given three correct nodes that share the same input value, is it possible that they agree on their value regardless of the actions of a Byzantine node? As it turns out, the answer is yes. The nodes can agree on this value in this case, so this validity condition is an appropriate choice for the Byzantine agreement problem. Note that there are other validity conditions that can be useful. For example, if we can order the values, it is also possible to agree on a value that is close to the median of all values. Let's summarize what we've learned. We defined the Byzantine agreement problem, which is a variant of the consensus problem where some nodes may exhibit Byzantine behavior. This means that some nodes may deviate from the given consensus algorithm in arbitrary ways. We also learned that the validity property must be adapted. A reasonable choice is all same validity, which says that if all correct nodes start with the same value, the nodes must agree on this value. Thanks for watching.